Skiing 3, 1 Entry, 1 Exit, Installation Guidance. Prepare tools before installation, adjustable wrench, cross, slotted screwdriver, hex, impact drill, tape, wire stripper, hammer, power supply, communication line, ground line, super 5 network cable, ink fountain, cutting machine, tape measure, scissors, relevant materials, and tools are prepared and placed near the site. The site is cleaned and the road is closed. 1. Build of Safety Island First, determine the size of the safety island, according to the actual situation of the site, and the location of the equipment. This project is one entry, and one exit with a toll booth in the middle. We can make the safety island, 5.5 meters in length, 1.3 meters in width, and 0.15 meters in height. Measure the size on the ground, mark the ground with a marker, and then use an ink fountain to eject, the wiring of the cloth too, and the shape of the island. For the sake of beauty, we can make the two ends of the island, into an arc shape. Mark out the approximate location of, the equipment installation, determine the outlet, use a cutting machine to cut two grooves, about 5 centimeters, deep along the ink line to make a line opening. Drill the ground between the two lines with an impact drill, and clean the cut grooves. Start to make the shape of the hose. Cut off the excess parts. Wrap the multiple tubes with tape or cable ties and bury them in the trench. Separate the tubes with strong and weak electricity, fix them and plug them at both ends, to avoid after entering the stone. Several steel nails, or expansion screws are driven in, between the line pipes with a percussion drill, and the line pipes are tied with a rolling band. Then hit a number of steel nails, or expansion screws in the safety island, and the penetration depth and the exposed outside are not less than 5 cm, to ensure the adhesion between the safety island, and the ground. Then use wooden frames, or bricks to build the shape of the safety island. After the safety island abrasive tool is built, Use the mixed cement sand to fill, pour into the safety island mold. After the cement safety island is dry, paint or tile work can be carried out. The paint needs to be processed in multiple times, to be even and smooth. The tiles need to be full and flat without gaps. 2. Installation of ground sense line of barrier gate. Use a threader to thread the thread, and the reserved thread at both ends, should be long enough, and make a mark. First place the equipment on the safety island, that has been prepared. At this time, the reserved cables, should be threaded upwards, from the bottom of the chassis, to avoid crushing the cables. Mark the bottom of the case with a marker, move the case, and after confirming the position of the gate, mark the size of the ground line of the gate. 
Draw the mark of the ground scent size. Use the prepared cutting machine to cut a groove, about 5 cm, deep along the rectangular ink line. Reserve a certain length, and put the ground scent line in a circle, along the rectangular groove. Normal size 4 to 6, turns. The feeder should be twisted into, the equipment chassis. Put in two fixing plates, and mark the space of the expansion screw. The barrier is equipped, with 16, times 150, expansion screws. You need to use an 18, drill bit, to drill a 7 cm deep hole. Insert the expansion screw, and screw it up before fixing the device. Fix the nut, and prepare to start, the internal wiring of the barrier. Remove the control panel. First connect the barrier control wire, to the terminal. Then connect the limit signal wire, of the controller to the limit output interface, and connect the ground wire, to the vehicle detection base. 7, and 8, ports are regardless of positive, or negative. Insert the vehicle detector into the base. Connect the power cord, 220, volts to the air switch. Connect the yellow wire to the ground, and arrange the internal wiring, and make a wire label. When installing the barrier rod, erect the barrier rod, put the barrier plate on, the back of the barrier mechanism, and clamp the cover. Put on the four fixing screws, and tighten the nut. 3. Installation of, JN, 3, License Plate Recognition. Take out the license plate recognition fixed column, and pass the reserved lineup, from the bottom of the column. Fix the license plate recognition, and place it on the safety island, that has already been made. Be careful not to crush the wires. Use a marker to mark, the fixing holes under the fixing column, and then remove the column. Then use a number 14, impact drill, to make a hole, about 7 cm deep at the mark, and drive the 12, times 100, burst screw in. Use a wrench to expand the screw, and take out the nut to fix it, put it on, and cover it with the nut, Thread the reserved wire, from the bottom of the chassis upwards. Align the fixing hole with the expansion screw, adjust the angle of the camera, close the nut to fix, then merge the two base plates, fix it with screws twice, and start internal wiring.
First, connect the ground wire to the base of the vehicle detector to 7, 8, regardless of positive or negative. Insert the vehicle detector into the base. Plug in the camera network cable and motherboard network cable. Connect the power cord, 220 volts to the air switch and the yellow wire to ground. After the internal wiring is completed, organize and mark the wire. Put the camera on the top of the device, fix it with screws, install the waterproof rubber head on, the reserved hole for license plate recognition, pass through the hose to the top of the camera, and connect to the relevant wiring. After the installation is completed, and the test is correct, the power can be tested. 